Since Photoshop started, it's been used to retouch photos. It's been used to remove items from photos, enhance photos, different things like that. Uh, but as Photoshop has progressed and become bigger and bigger, uh, it's made the tools so much easier to use to be able to remove those objects from uh, a photo. Uh, the Up until, I think it was the Adobe CS versions, that you basically always had to use the rubber stamp tool to remove objects from it. Uh, there's some great new tools. Right now I'm using Adobe Cloud, but again, this has been out for a little while now. But the Content Aware, uh, it's a very, very cool feature. Uh, let's say I wanted to remove this uh, this base 16 item, a uh, little sign, whatever it is, from this photo here. And if you see, I just have just a brand new photo here on its own layer, or actually it's the background layer here. And that's really the main way that this first option works for the Content Aware. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and select my marquee tool up here. This could be the elliptical or the rectangle, doesn't matter. I'm just going to use the rectangle for right now. And you go in and select the object. I'd say get as close to it as possible without you know, selecting too much extra stuff. Go ahead and select it there. And all you have to do is just hit the delete key. When you do that, you get the fill option comes up here and says, what do you want to fill it with? Well, you've got some different options here. You've got content aware, which is usually the first thing that comes up. Or you've got foreground color, background color, different things like that. Things that really won't make it look all that great. But the content aware is what we're looking for. So I'm going to leave that as it is. I'm just going to hit OK. And if I delete or just turn off that little marquee tool there, you see it did a pretty good job of removing it, making it look pretty natural in there. A lot quicker than I could have just using the rubber stamp tool. Now I could continue to kind of come down here and maybe try to get rid of some of these other signs too. And I'll hit delete content aware, yes, hit OK. I don't know, really know where it came up with this pattern here from, but again it still looks pretty natural and it was a lot quicker than me using the rubber stamp tool up to this point. Uh, let's say if I wanted to maybe try to remove that little newspaper down there, I'm going to stop and I'm going to redo that. Try to get a little bit closer to it. Hit Content Aware. And again, that looks pretty natural down there. That I almost wouldn't notice that there was ever any kind of retouching done to it. And again, all I had to do was just select it with the Marquee tool and hit Delete. But there's some different options that Photoshop gives you as well. I'm going to go back to the original photo. I'm going to go to my History and just go back to the original item here. And over here in your toolbar, you've got a bunch of different options. Uh, spot healing tool brush, to patch tool, different items right in here. I'm just going to go through them one by one here. The spot healing brush tool. Very cool. Very, very simple to use. Almost as uh, easy as the content aware, but again, a little bit different, a little bit more accurate. Uh, I'm going to go and just brush over it just like I would if I was painting something here. And you'll see the dark black kind of gray area. Uh, that is the area that you've painted in. And as soon as I let go of my mouse, you'll see it goes ahead and fills it in. Now that looks pretty good. That actually almost looks better than the content to where I was using just a little bit ago because again, I can get very, very specific with the spot. Now here it kind of picked up on some of the street over here. So that looks a little bit funky. So maybe I want to go down with a smaller brush size here. Just see what that does. Yeah, that looks a lot more natural. I can continue painting down with that basically. Yeah, that looks really good. So again, this works a lot quicker than the old rubber stamp tool ever did. All right, I'm going to go back to the original look again, just so I've got more to work with here. I'm going to go over to the healing brush tool, a little bit different than the spot healing. Spot healing is like an actual brush. The healing brush it works a little bit more like the rubber stamp or the cloning stamp tool that I keep talking about down here. This one works by holding on the option or the alt key. First you do that where you sample an area. Maybe you want to sample this area over here. I could drag that into and actually paint over this. So once I've got my area, I'll let go and I can just start painting. You can see where your crosshairs are is where it's picking up on that information from and trying to apply it. Now at the moment I have not let up on the mouse and I can see that there's kind of a hard line going around it. Um, but if I let go, it works just like the Content Aware or the Healing Brush where it tries to fill in with blending some of the nice pixels within there so it looks a little bit more natural. Not bad, just a different use for that tool. I'm going to go back to the original photo here in my history. And I'm going to select the Patch Tool. This one's kind of an interesting tool. This works, yeah, I think, a little bit differently than the way the Healing Brush tool worked. That selected 
sampled an area and allowed you to kind of paint over using it. The patch tool lets you first select the area that you want to get rid of. I'm just clicking and dragging a nice little line around there. As soon as I do, I get the marquee tool. And now you see all I have to do is just click and drag. I can kind of move around and see what's going to blend in pretty nicely with that tree there. Now, don't worry too much about it. You just want to find something kind of close. That area there is not too bad. So I'm going to let go. And just like with the other ones, it tried to find similar pixels, kind of blend that together. I'm going to remove that marquee. That's a little bit fuzzy, but I could continue to retouch this area here using some of the different tools. Uh, so you can see that's that works out pretty good. Now one thing you want to make sure that you're doing or not doing here is I'm using just the original background layer of the photo. All those tools will work as long as, whether it be on any kind of layer, whether it be you know, a second, a third, a fourth layer. Any of them will work except for just using the regular marquee tool like we did with the content aware. So for example, I'm gonna go back to that one real quick. I'm gonna go just to that background layer, grab my marquee tool, and if I select an area and hit delete, you'll see I get the content aware. I'm gonna hit cancel there. But if I go to a layer, and I turn on that layer, and I try to do the same thing, again, I got my area selected here. If I hit delete, I'm just going to delete a hole right through it. So it only works if it's the actual, the original background layer there by using the marquee tool. Again, the regular brush, spot healing brush or patch tool will work just fine on any layer. So just be careful of which one you're using.